I am reading this article from my blog. Link is in the description. Speaking in tongues is more common than you may think. Before I get into the article, a quick mention. I have a shop selling t-shirts with custom speaking in tongues quotes. Link is in the description. Speaking in tongues is common all around the world. It is hard to tell exactly how many people speak in tongues, but it is definitely a common gift. There are many who speak in tongues in private. The fact that some people believe speaking in tongues is a private affair means we can't exactly tell how common it is. But if we look at churches that advocate for speaking in tongues, we can see that there are many people who have the gift. Speaking in tongues is specifically common in Pentecostal churches, although there are people in mainstream churches that also speak in tongues. Pentecostal churches speak in tongues in public, which makes people associate them with a gift. Even their name, Pentecostal, refers to the day of Pentecost when the disciples of Jesus spoke in tongues in public. Why speaking in tongues is common? Speaking in tongues has never ceased ever since the day the disciples of Jesus spoke in tongues on the day of Pentecost. God intentionally kept his disciples waiting until when they received the power of the Holy Spirit before he allowed them to go out to preach the gospel of Jesus. The power of the Holy Spirit that the disciples received gave them the ability to speak in tongues and to baptize others with a gift. As they went around preaching the gospel of Jesus, they baptized those who believed with the power of the Holy Spirit. As more people believed in Jesus and received the Holy Spirit, they also received the ability to speak in tongues. According to God, speaking in tongues is supposed to be as common as the gospel of Jesus. After all, they are all pieces of the same puzzle. It is clear that the gospel of Jesus is more popular than gifts of the Holy Spirit, but not by a great margin. Unfortunately, the trend seems to be going downward. More people are neglecting the power of the Holy Spirit, which is vital in spreading the gospel of Jesus. Without the power of the Holy Spirit, believers will be as fearful as the disciples of Jesus before they received the power of God. God knew that believers could not spread the gospel of Jesus with that kind of fear. The Spirit of God came to empower us to preach Jesus boldly. Speaking in tongues and other gifts are tools that God gave us to make the work of preaching the gospel efficient. The popularity of speaking in tongues grows in the same way the knowledge of Jesus as a Savior spreads. Where is speaking in tongues most common? The notion is that speaking in tongues is common in African and Asian countries. While there may not be a research done to prove the claim, poverty is closely associated with religion. It is safe to say that the poorer someone is, the more religious they are. With this consideration, speaking in tongues is bound to be common in poor countries than in rich countries. The logic behind this distribution is that people who live in poverty are active in seeking for a savior than those living in riches. It is the nature of human beings to be close to God when they need him and far from him when they are in comfort. The Bible has countless stories of this phenomena taking place. The children of Israel cried out to God to save them when they were in slavery in Egypt. But after God took them out of slavery, they quickly forgot him. God in his wisdom keeps many in perpetual poverty so that they may remember him. It is not that God needs human beings to be God, but he does so out of his love. But while countries living in poverty are more religious, speaking in tongues is also common among rich countries. Problems are universal. Both those living in poor countries and those living in rich countries experience hardship, only that it is in different forms. In general, life under the sun is hard. Speaking in tongues is an easy way to alleviate the pain, and so anyone who is in pain has speaking in tongues as an option. Speaking in tongues is common. What to learn? There is a reason why God made it hard for us to know how exactly common speaking in tongues is. 
God never wants people to desire speaking in tongues because it is common. Rather, he wants people to desire speaking in tongues with pure hearts. There are all manner of people who speak in tongues, rich and poor, blacks and whites, old and young, men and women, etc. I do speak in tongues and many of my friends do too. The aim of speaking in tongues is to help us develop the character of Christ in preparation for his return. All gifts of the Holy Spirit aim to achieve this goal. Seeking to understand the popularity of speaking in tongues is less important than the fact that you practice the gift. Speaking in tongues is common where I currently live, but I do not let that affect how I practice the gift. I want to grow to a level where I speak in tongues, regardless of how common or uncommon speaking in tongues is. That is the important lesson we all need to take out of this. Speaking in tongues is common. Conclusion We may never know for sure how common speaking in tongues is. The most important thing is that you get the gift and practice it. When you are reaping the benefits of speaking in tongues, it will matter little how common it is. God designed the gift to help us in our relationship with Him. Many churches advocate for people to speak in tongues and many individuals speak in tongues in private. When you consider such factors, you will realize that speaking in tongues is common. A wise believer will get the right lesson from this article. I pray that you are the wise believer. Peace.